Hello everybody and welcome to Project Trade. This is the Technical Indicator Show. And in this one, we are taking a look at the Accelerator Oscillator. It's an indicator coming to us from Bill Williams in his 2004 book, Trade in Chaos. If you are familiar with the awesome oscillator and you like that one as an indicator, then trust me, you are going to love the Accelerator Oscillator. If you hate the awesome oscillator, then this one might make you seethe just a little bit. Much like the awesome oscillator, the Accelerator Oscillator is a momentum indicator which presents itself as a histogram with a zero line crossover and here's the big secret the accelerator oscillator incorporates the awesome oscillator into its formula that's right bill williams layering his old indicators into his new indicators so that he is able to maximize their marketing potential and minimize the mathematical thought process now let's take a look at the formula of the accelerator oscillator to calculate it you will first have to compute the reading for the awesome oscillator we have done a video on the awesome oscillator which will be linked in the video description but here and now it's calculated by taking a five period moving average and subtracting from it a 34 period moving average that is a fast average minus a slow one the accelerator oscillator then takes that awesome oscillator value and subtracts from it a five period simple moving average of the awesome oscillator the difference between the two is then printed as the histogram and there it is complete with zero line crossover and all bill williams you've done it again if i did have thumbs then i'd chuck them up for you Another example of it here, this time next to the price. You can notice how the price candles are regularly switching from red to green, whereas the accelerator oscillator tries to smooth that and you'll find more successive green candles and more successive red candles. Those single bar color switches are a bit rarer. Also a note that if you are hand drawing your oscillators, then be aware that both the accelerator and the awesome oscillator are calculated with the median price. That's done by adding together the high and the low prices from the period and dividing by two. So how can we try to improve on the indicator by playing with the settings? Well, much like the awesome oscillator, by default, a lot of the platforms will simply not let you change any of the inputs. And why would you want to? You'd be turning Midas's touch into silver. Bill Williams got it spot on here, obviously, again. But for anyone out there who is brave enough to want to change inputs of the accelerator indicator, this is where my peeps out there have and drawing their oscillators get the advantage over you digital passbys. We are able to easily plot that indicator with whatever inputs we like. Anyone can do the same with just their mind and a 2B pencil. No other tools required apart from a ticker. Okay, so we know where we stand. Let's hit up those entry signals. When it comes to getting us into trades, the most obvious signal that you're going to see when you pull up the indicator is the zero line crossover. Some examples of that shown on screen here. When the accelerator oscillator value moves above zero, then you could consider that a buy opportunity for trades as momentum is increasing into the upside or if it crosses below zero then it could be a signal to you to get into a sell trade but hopefully no one stopped the video just before i started this sentence to run off and load up their trading account with the rent money they just borrowed from their crack dealer also they can trade the zero line crossover on the accelerator oscillator we all know exactly the person i'm talking about and they are going to be worse off for their haste but for those of you who stuck around for those extra 10 seconds the zero line crossover it is not actually a signal that bill will Williams endorsed or recommended from the accelerator oscillator. He did put emphasis on the general theory that if the value of the accelerator was above zero, the momentum was to the upside, or if it was below zero, then momentum was to the downside. However, this only means that less momentum should be required to validate an entry in that direction. Let me just explain what I mean by that then. Bill Williams says that when the accelerator oscillator is above zero, you'll need two consecutive green bars to give you the go-ahead to get into a buy trade, or likewise two red bars for the go ahead on a sell trade if the accelerator value is below zero. Here you can see examples of trade entries in both directions. These entries can apply for when the indicator value first crosses zero and prints two histogram bars in that direction, but also when the momentum has just retraced but without actually recrossing the zero line. It's renewed momentum in the same overall trend. Now if you wanted to enter a trade against the trend of the momentum though, then Bill Williams suggests that this would need three bars to signal the entry. So if the accelerator oscillator was reading above zero and you wanted to enter a sell trade then you'd need three red bars to give you the go ahead and obviously the reverse for when the value is below zero you need three consecutive green bars bit of mixed results on the actual amount of momentum that follows through on some of these signals but this is absolutely how bill williams recommended it to be you can also just use the accelerator oscillator as a filter for your other entry indicators quite straightforward when the accelerator oscillator is above zero then you only take buy signals from your other indicators and when the accelerator is below zero then you'd only take sell signals. A bit of confluence can always be helpful for saving profits. Those are our main entry signals. Let's see if it also might be able to assist us with managing our money. 
First off, you could feel free to use that zero line crossover as an exit signal for closing your trade, i.e. if you're in a buy trade and the accelerator value crossed below zero, then you would exit the trade. Similarly, if you're in a sell trade and it crossed that zero line above it, then maybe you close it down, feeling confident that momentum has had its moment and that the party is over. Or why let it get to the zero line crossover? Instead, you could just say that if it moves against you for X amount of bars, then you'll close the trade. That's the algebraic expression X we're using rather than the symbol for the Roman numeral of 10. For example, if you're in a buy trade, then you could exit that trade after the accelerator histogram prints, say, two consecutive red bars of downward momentum, or three or four. It really depends on how long that you want to let it run. As long as you can ensure that you're not risking too much of your capital, then it should work out fine. That is our money managed then. Once you get into the markets, like most indicators, you can give it a go across all assets. It's going to work about the same in each of the markets like Forex, metals, crypto, stocks. Give them all a try and see what you like. As the accelerator oscillator is intended for design as an early warning to a change in momentum, it does have a bit of a quicker response to it. That means it is not going to keep you in trends forever. It will likely dip across the zero level during retracement periods, so it's typically more useful for faster trades or even scalping on lower time frames. If you do enjoy trading a whole bunch of signals, give this one a back test and see how you feel about it. Don't get too excited though, it still has to be used in conjunction with other indicators, be them technical, fundamental or other. It is still after a lagging trend indicator and if you're blindly taking every signal from it sooner or later you are going to walk into the range just like this one here's a choppy oscillator even with that slight overall market uptrend you are not likely to have a lot of winning trades from this set of values taking any of those entry signals that we discussed zero line crossovers or even waiting for that second or third bar as confirmation none of those are going to make you anywhere close to profitable in price action like this it's going to damage your bank balance your psychology when you're in front of the charts and most importantly how you you perceive the credibility of the character that you see in the mirror every single morning. So if you want to feel like a credible person once again, then why not instead of the accelerator oscillator, try some similar indicators to see if those work. Let's start with the most obvious one, which we've already discussed a little. It's the awesome oscillator, known locally for being the dawn of clickbait indicator names. And although obviously the accelerator and awesome oscillators are serving different purposes as indicators, they are using very similar formulas and both presenting themselves as zero line histograms, making the comparison impossible to ignore. Here's the two indicators on top of one another and you can see as clear as non-contaminated natural mineral fresh spring water that the accelerator oscillator will shift across that zero line a lot more than the awesome oscillator will. But you've got plenty of other zero line histogram crossovers out there as well. One of the most popular ones on the planet is the MACD, another momentum measure. So check out our video on that if you want any more because I can't go over it every time I bring it up. Especially since anyone that was desperate enough to make their way to the accelerator oscillator video has almost certainly heard of the MACD. Apologies to any Anybody trading for the first time who's watching the videos in alphabetical order. For more reliable signals, Bill Williams suggested using the accelerator oscillator in combination with the alligator indicator. If you aren't familiar with the alligator, it's three moving averages built into a single indicator. And when I put it like that, it probably sounds like quite a simple indicator. So you'd be forgiven for assuming that it was created by Bill Williams, because it was. So yes, there is a strong arm of bias in him recommending for you to use an indicator that he developed with another indicator that he developed, but that doesn't mean that you won't find success with these indicators as a combination it just means that i'm very cynical in conclusion we asked it with the awesome oscillator and we will ask it again here is this the magnum opus of bill williams the summit of his everest his heavyweight championship his arrival at graceland memphis tennessee Mm, no, probably not, but we'll get there, Bill, we will. Nevertheless, it is still a useful indicator as an assistant for assessing momentum, whether using it for more consistent entry signals or as a filter to the overall market momentum, it does have options for you to try out. And there's actually only so deep that you can go with it because of the settings being permanently nailed into the indicator, there is a much lower learning curve and testing process for this one when compared to most other indicators. However, if you are still jonesing for more information on the accelerator oscillator, you might might find some of that in the description and do not forget that every single chart we've shown you in this video has been completely pre-selected for the purpose of showing you how the indicator may or may not work fortunately though i have used this indicator in live forward testing strategies and will also link those videos in the description this is project trade and we are the bernie madoff tribute fund thank you for watching